Jonathan, we got tech breakfast. Yeah. This June 14th to the 20th. This week in tech birthdays, we have Bob Frankenstein, who is known for VisiCalc. What is VisiCalc? VisiCalc. VisiCalc was a spreadsheet uh, software that ran on the Mac. And what's interesting is that if you look at his bio here, I mean, he's got, first of all, he graduated from a really prestigious university, MIT, in 1970. They, uh, their, um, their, their computer science program is, is pretty good. I mean, one of the best. Yeah, MIT created, remember Paint? the yeah. the paint software that would come by default for win with windows mm -hmm. so mit created paint.net and so they actually took c sharp and .net and wrote paint.net oh wow and it's open source freely available you can donate money but it's freely available you can download the source code and everything um, in order to see how they actually wrote that uh, so that's the type of developers that you get out of MIT. So this Bob Frankenstein went to like a, what I would consider a top-notch school. Mm -hmm. So VisiCalc, getting back to VisiCalc, VisiCalc was kind of like Excel back in the 80s, but it was for, um, for Apple. So it only ran on an Apple computer. But this guy later went over to Lotus. And so Lotus also had a spreadsheet software. It was called Lotus 123. I actually worked on that. I, uh, when I was an administrative assistant, I, I worked on that. And then it uh, looks like he also did a, a, a stint over at um, Microsoft with home networking. Wow, pretty smart guy. I, I got to admit, he is. Not only does he have his own web page, he's on... Wikipedia, <laughs> 1949, kind of cool. Yeah. Who else do we got, Jonathan? Next, we have Drew Major, known for Novell Data Systems. Yeah, Novell, that's a, ooh, man, that's old school. I mean, <laughs> if, if there's anybody my age watching this video, they know what Novell is. <laughs> Novell was one of the first small business file server and printer serve, uh, service so that you can share files and share printers with everyone. So you would have this Novell Netware server and it would, it would share files and it would share printers. And that was kind of the, um, that was kind of the, the default that every every company would would use you know what's interesting about this guy jonathan but his birthday is june 17. Yeah. you know who else's birthday is on june 17. <laughs> that's also my birthday that's right it's your birthday born in 1991 so that's like um oh gosh that's uh 35 years apart 36 years something like that no you 1993. 93 yeah so that makes you like 30, so 30. 66, 76, 86. So that's 30 years, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So 37 years apart. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that makes you what? 20? 20, 28. 28. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when when did you grow up <laughs> like 28 years just like boom just like that you know <laughs> yeah and then all of a sudden i just grew a beard too <laughs> yeah, like overnight i just noticed that <laughs> <laughs> that's cool um yeah so the 17th it's your birthday yeah um what is the best way for people to give you a shout out for your birthday I would say Instagram would be the first one. You can find me at ijack213. 
and that's where I talk about stuff, a lot of plants and future tech stuff. Man, look at that beard. <laughs> a puppy. Yeah, give, give me a happy birthday shout out if you want. Yeah, send them a message. And then also on YouTube, if you want to comment on one of the videos, tell me happy birthday. I would say find this video and wish my happy birthday. I don't care if it's December of <laughs> 2023. Find this video on this channel and wish my happy birthday. <laughs> Very cool. So Cole, co-host of the Road to Code. <laughs> podcast very nice and uh yeah i think that's all we got we had a short list for this week so and happy birthday to you again yeah until next time happy birthdays. <laughs> happy birthdays. <laughs>